Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. If you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, please do. And when you do, be sure and tap on the little button that for the notification bell. And what that does is notify you every time we put up a new video and it works well. We've got a lot of subscribers now all over the world and it's really been, it's been fun. Anyway, thank you for that. And let's see, in our last video, what we explained was how to, how to find our videos on the internet, how to actually get on there and find the videos that you want. And I want to refine the system a bit. It's anything I do on the computer needs a little more refinement, but I'm trying to make things more accessible. And if you saw that last video, which a lot of people seem to appreciate it, it helped them. That's wonderful. Anyway, and the video before that, we worked on this Sportster. We've got this 74 Sportster here, and I did a bunch of stuff to it. We'll go over what I did to it, and basically what we're going to do is fire it up. I've gotten a whole bunch of people have written in and said, okay, Mike, you did it, now fire it up. We want to hear it, so we'll hear it. Okay, what did I do to it? Uh, let's see, I put a new gas line on it. Looking at it, I can see I put a new gas line on it. I put a new pair of spark plugs in it. Yes, I opened it up and adjusted everything in the primary, including the clutch, which was one of the things was she told me that she couldn't pull a clutch, and I tried to pull it to ride it home. I'm telling you, I could not pull it. We've got it pretty nice now. So hopefully this will work nicely for her. Ah, uh, this is a woman who bought this bike new in 1974, and she still owns it. So I'm really happy to say she, we're going to get her back on it here pretty quick. Okay, on this side we didn't do anything else except for I did straighten this brake lever, which looked very much like it had taken a hunk of the street out somewhere. And let's see, all of the brake linkage I went over and repaired and brake light works and all that good stuff. I did have to clean out the carburetor and I did have to adjust the valves and I did have to install a brand new Dynatech ignition. And so that's all new and that's in there and new advance weights. That was pretty cool. So... I got it to where it starts now. I think it starts fairly easy. I did the rear brake. Yes, I said that already. Huh? The bolt in there. Yeah, I did that so that the stop works on the on the linkage. We showed all that on a previous video. And now she's up and ready to go. I'm going to take her out tomorrow. It's going to be about 10 degrees warmer tomorrow. So I'm going to take her for a ride tomorrow. So right now, I want to light her off. Um, once I do light her off, I might add, it'll be a little hard to hear me. Um, this thing does have straight drag pipes, which brings up the question, how do straight drag pipes work on one of these old cast iron sportsters? And I'm going to have to tell you the truth from my own experience. They work very well at high speed and they perform poorly at low speed. They need a little back pressure to get them out of the hole. I mean, you can actually hear the hesitation in, in what sounds like your carburetor needs tuning. And what it really is, there's no back pressure and these sportsters really want a little back pressure. These really, people don't realize it until they ride them, but these are real hot rods. And tuning them is takes a little creativity to really get them to where they'll do what you want them to do because they will do it but this one this one boy I'm telling you it sounds good but it's got a bit of a hesitation out of the hole like they normally do with drag pipes straight drag pipes but once they get going then they'll fly with those straight drag pipes so it's kind of a, a one of those kind of things so I'm going to turn on the ignition and I'm going to turn on the gas. Okay, first we'll turn on the gas and then we'll turn on the ignition and fully enrich her. We're going to whack the throttle a couple, three times. 
We're going to let the airplane go by. We always get airplanes every time we want to light something off. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to whack the throttle a couple of times, turn on the kill switch. Now what I'm going to do is let it warm up a little bit, then I'm going to take the enrichter off. You'll see the black smoke coming out of the pipes. That's because the enrichter is on. It's not a choke, it's an enrichter. Well, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm pleased. This is a sweet running old Sportster. I will take her for a ride tomorrow. I'm expecting the brakes to work well. I'm expecting the clutch to work well. I'm expecting this thing to take me on a nice little ride so I can give her back to her owner. So, let's see. What are we going to do on our next video? I'm not sure. I'll have to dig up something. I got a feeling it's going to have something to do with my shovel head, though. So, until then... Till then, oh, 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 I don't ever want to forget this until it comes up. The Hippie Killer Hoedown is April 22nd, so don't forget that. Be sure you mark that on your calendar or on your cell phone or wherever you mark those things down. And hopefully, I'll see you then. If I don't see you then, I'll still see you out on the road.